Hey, do you know that the plant cell technology started kit is back in stock and is better than ever? Let me show you what's inside. That's right, the starter kit is back, so let's see what's inside. Happy tissue culturing. All right, so the kit includes uh, everything that you need to get started in tissue culture. So let's get, let's see what is in the box. We have uh, your MS Media. Uh, we have a 10 liter or MS Media. PPM, of course, to keep your uh, plants from getting a uh, contamination. And we have an uh, agar uh, for your, uh, your solidifying agent. Uh, also in the kit, we including the hormones. So we have the hormones, the plant regulators needed for you to get started. We have a uh, BAP, NAA, and IBS. So this, these hormones are going to give you the combination of uh, media that, going, that is going to be this better suited for your plant. Doesn't matter your um, multiplying or are trying to root your plants. Uh, also in the kit is um, the we have um, 10 a snap lock, a snap lock containers, non-vented. We also have five glass vented test tubes with a flat bottom so you can stand it by itself. You don't need a, a rack to keep them uh, from falling over. Uh, also, this is uh, something that keeps uh, or like puts the, the plant cell technology kits ahead of the other uh, kits is that we also include the, the tool set. So let's see what is uh, inside of the tool set. We have um, a scapu, scapu. We also have the uh, scapu blade. We have an eight inch forceps. We have a uh, four uh, micro pipettes that you can use to uh, add your uh, your chemicals like the PPM and plant growth regulators. And you also have your pH up and pH down. So here is the kit in full display and I will show you how to make tissue culture media in this video. But before I show you that, I want to show you a couple other things that I you will need uh, to, to use uh, this kit. So the first thing that you will need is uh, sugar. We, the the kit um, has everything that you need. It has the nutrients and the agar and the PPM and the and the hormones. However, the, the, this media does not have sugar, so I would recommend, uh, or you need to get your own sugar. This you this is just regular sugar from the grocery store. There is nothing fancy about it. That's why we are not including this because it is more expensive to to ship you sugar than you can get this from from your own store. So you will need sugar. Uh, you will also need some gloves as well, as uh, um, just to keep things clean as well. So I'm going to put my gloves on as I'm going to be making media. So I recommend to, to get yourself a, a box of gloves. Other things that you will need are um, a pH meter to calibrate, your, uh, to calibrate the pH of the media. This pH meter is very affordable. It costs less than $10 uh, online. So you can start with this one. Later on, you can maybe upgrade to something a little better, but this is going to be good to get you started. Uh, also, uh, you will need uh, something to measure your media and your sugar and your other ingredients, uh, your dry ingredients. So I have a, a digital scale. However, in this video, I will show you how to use some uh, measuring spoons. So if you don't have a, um, a digital scale like this, I will show you how to use measuring spoons to uh, measure your sugar, your agar, and your media, uh, without the need or having to get uh, one of these uh, measuring uh, scales. Uh, if you have a measuring scale, I also recommend to get you uh, to get something to to measure your powders. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all of the other things that you need. Uh, well, with exception, or you, we include a uh, one blade. Forever, I would recommend to get uh, a box of more more blades as well, just to uh, to get you going. This blade is a number 11 blade. This is the one that I recommend to for tissue quarter, which is this pointy blade. You can also use a number 15 or number nine, but my favorite um, when doing tissue quarter is the number 11 blade. So let's uh, get started and let me show you how to make media. All right, let's make some media. If you make one liter of media, you can fill up all 10 uh, round snap lock containers as you each a container will hold approximately 100 milliliters of media. However, uh, this is a standard bundle. 
I'm expecting that most of you guys will uh, start slow and maybe only use one or a couple of containers at a time. So I will show you how to make media on uh, for a single container and also for, uh, for making media for the test tubes. So let's get started. And the first thing is to add water to your container. So uh, you see this line. The, there is a line right here. This is how much uh, media or how much media is there will be for uh, for each container. So I want to go ahead and add water to my container. I'm not going to fill it all, all the way to that line as I want to be adding my ingredients, uh, but that's going to be my final volume. So you see I adding water, but it's not all the way to the line. So that's a good starting point. And uh, let's um, get started with the with the MS uh, media. So for the MS media, we need 4.43 uh, uh, grams of uh, the MS media for one liter of media. However, because we are making approximately 100 milliliters of, um, of media, we only need 0 0.43 uh, uh, um, grams. You can use a measuring uh, scale to uh, measure those, uh, more precisely measure these, uh, these uh, measurements. However, I will show you uh, how to use uh, measure, how to make media using measuring spoons, so you don't have to get a, a scale if you don't if you don't want to. So uh, we have our MS media, and for the we need uh, one eight teaspoon. Uh, one eight teaspoon is going to give us roughly that 0 0.4 grams of media that we need. So you, you see a flush spoon add that into our, our water. Uh, we're using the steel water. Uh, the steel water is very important for a, for a tissue culture. Make sure that it doesn't have any, any salts or any uh, other things in the water that are going to mess up with your plants. So we start fresh with the, the steel water. So after the, the MS media, I will add my agar. Agar is going to be my, is my solid, solidifying agent. And for agar, I typically use between six to eight grams of agar per liter. In this case, I will use a uh, one fourth uh, teaspoon. One fourth teaspoon is going to give me roughly that ratio between six to eight grams per liter, but this is going to be for 100 milliliters in this case. So I have my agar. Next, I will add the sugar. So sugar, this is just, again, regular table sugar from the grocery store. Uh, for this, I typically, most medias use between 20 to 30 grams. And if you use a, a half teaspoon, then uh, that will give you roughly around 20, 25 grams of sugar. So see, we have one, one spoon, and we add that into our media. And that's it for all of uh, our solid uh, ingredients. Now let's add, let's add our uh, liquid ingredients. So let's start, uh, for this media that I want to, to make is going to be houseplant multiplication media. So I've taken my six uh, BAP. I want to open this up. And I want to take one of the plastic micropipettes and I want to add um, roughly the equivalent of two milliliters uh, of BAP per liter. So if we count drops, 20 milliliters, or I'm sorry, 20 drops is roughly around one milliliter of media. So if I need two uh, milliliters of a BAP, um, the equivalent of two milliliters of BAP, I want to add uh, four drops. So it goes one, two, three, and four. So I have four drops of BAP using the micro pipette. Next up, I want to grab a clean, another clean pipette, and I want to add um, IBA. IBA is going to be my, um, my routine agent or my routine hormone. Uh, in this case, this is multiplication media, but I still want to add a little bit of IBA just to keep balance the media so my plants uh, still grow uh, still have a good size and they are not too small. So what I want to do is uh, I need the equivalent to roughly 0 0.1 milliliters. So for that, I only want to add one drop. So I just need very little. So one drop of um, IBA. Or roughly that, that was 0 .0, 0 0.5 milliliters, so use one drop. So that's that. And lastly, I will add TPM. 
So PPM is uh, the plant preservative mixture. This is a biocide, it helps prevent the growth of fungus and bacteria. So uh, this is a very important uh, ingredient to add as uh, this is going to help you keep your uh, cultures uh, from getting contaminated, contamination. So I have uh, another uh, micro pipette. And for this one, I also, as most of you, I would expect to, to be a uh, first time doing tissue culture, which uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, welcome to, to the family. And uh, I will add two milliliters uh, uh, per liter. So in this case, I want to add four drops of PPM. Three and four. There we go. And that's everything. That's all my ingredients in my container. So. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take um, my water and now I'm going to fill it up to the line. So you see that you see it has the line. So I'm going to take my, my, the rest of my water and I'm going to fill it up all the way to that line. Perfect. And now that it's in the line, I want to grab a, one of the spoons and mix it until everything has been incorporated in the medium. The agar, I will tell you that the agar is not going to dissolve yet uh, agar doesn't dissolve until you boil the media all right so everything now that the media has is been fully incorporated i will take a ph meter so this is my ph meter and make sure that is uh, uh, calibrated and i want to calibrate uh, the ph meter is calibrated and now i want to adjust uh, my ph so for adjusting the ph we have the ph over ph down you have a potassium hydroxide the potassium hydroxide is your ph up that's going to increase the ph and the uh, pH down is HCl. So most uh, tissue culture medias, you will notice that the, the pH is uh, very low. So you want to add, uh, or most likely you have to start with the potassium hydroxide. So I want to add a drop of the potassium hydroxide to get the pH up. I recommend start with one drop at a time and then mix and check. And we're looking for a pH between 5.6 to like 5.8. So I'm currently 5.76, as you can see. So you see, very simple, very easy. My media is done. So I want to take my pH meter out. And now uh, all I need to do is sterilize my media. Uh, to sterilize my media, I want to grab the, the lid and I want to place it on top. It's very important for these plastic containers, do not close the the lids because if you close the lids the moment that they came out of the sterilizer they they're going to shrink the containers are going to shrink they you need to uh, keep the container open there you go so you need to keep the container open so you can just place the the lid on top just like that all right so now let me uh, show you how to sterilize it so in my case because i'm only going to be sterilizing one container uh, you can use the microwave so uh, if you don't have a, a pressure cooker um, you can also use the microwave as well to sterilize your media. It is better to use a pressure cooker to sterilize tissue, co uh, tissue culture media. However, if uh, a microwave is all you have or just for convenience because you're only making maybe uh, uh, one container at a time or maybe just making using the test tubes, uh, microwave, the microwave works very well. So um, I will show you how to pour the media in the test tubes. So what I'm going to do is I will take my media that is done um, here and I want to place it in the microwave for about, about a minute, a minute and a half. I just need the, the media to, to light boil. That is going to get the, uh, the agar to completely dissolve and then I can pour it into my test tubes. Okay, my media is out of the microwave. Uh, you, I just, all I have to do is uh, take it to a light boil just to dissolve the, the agar. So what I want to do now is um, take my test tubes and I want to uh, pour my media in the test tubes. Be careful because the media is going to be very, very hot. Okay, so I just take a, a test tube and I want to fill it with roughly 20 milliliters of media on each. All right, excellent. So I have poured my media into my test tube. So you see it's liquid. Whatever the test tubes, you still need to sterilize them. So I want to take all of my test tubes and I want to place them back in the microwave for an additional a minute there we go and just like that my media is uh, sterile now uh, i want to get a, a note for uh, for you even though that the bent the, the leaves are bented you still want to when you place the the media or the the test tubes in the microwave you still want the the, the caps to be slightly loose because if you don't do that 
they can still build pressure and then it's going to pop the lid up and then you're going to lose the media. So if that happens to you, just make sure that the, the lid is, is loose so, and um, uh, so it, it whenever it bo the media starts boil, it doesn't, it doesn't pop the, 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 the lid over. Uh, also make sure that don't over boil the, um, the, the media. So always place, uh, place the test tubes for one minute and see uh, how they, they're boiling. Uh, if you see that they are boiling, uh, they have a strong boil, then that is enough. You can turn off the microwave. Obviously, the best thing to do is to place them in an in actual proper sterilizer, like a, like a pressure cooker. You will sterilize the media for uh, 15 minutes uh, tw uh, 15, uh, P uh, 15 minutes for fi uh, 15 PSI. So if you're keeping the media in the containers, and you want to sterilize them using the, the microwave, again, you want to make sure that the cap is loose and you also uh, want to make, uh, keep an eye on the boiling. Uh, you want a, a light boil, but you want a con uh, kind of like a consistent boil. So roughly around three minutes on high is usually more than enough. Between two and a half to three minutes is usually enough. But you want to turn on the microwave and check after two minutes, you start checking and make sure that it doesn't over boil because it can, you can lose some part of the media or Again, and, and also don't not close the, the lid as uh, when I, you open the microwave, it's going to immediately shrink the container. And just like that, this is how you make plant tissue culture media with the new plant cell technology strategy. Thanks for watching the video. If you are enjoying these tissue culture videos, make sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you are interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use code FP10 for 10% off on your first purchase.